so here that our today's topic that is y equals to mx plus c in your previous classes that i hope you uh, remember that a little bit i explained that fundamentals related to y equals to mx plus c as usual you know that it's a general equation of line okay okay and here is m is your slope and c is your intercept as i explained that to you and also you know about that c is your y intercept here intercept that means where the, that means the point where the graph would like to cut either x or y axis clear okay clear yeah so let's see that what is in this subsection so i'm opening that yeah so in this part that we would like to study the effect of m and c with respect to a given line y equals to mx plus c and also we'd we'll like to be able to understand that the equation of line drawn on the graph paper okay including negative gradient negative gradient as usual gradient you know that that up upon across so negative gradient that means better down upon across that will be okay <clears throat> yeah yeah great so let's start that the first one here you are seeing that uh, equation of line that is given on your screen y equals to 2x plus 1 so fundamentally that you have to draw your equation of line firstly okay okay so here you can see that just to draw the equation of line what you have to do that you just have to plug in the three values minimum three values of x like x equals to 0 x equals to 1 and x equals to 2 clear <coughs> yes and when you will plug in the values x equals to 0 then you will get y equals to 1 x equals to 1 then y equals to 3 x equals to 2 then y equals to 5 x equals to 3 then y equals to 7 and x equals to 4 then y equals to 9 clear <coughs> oh yes yes, yes yes so you have to mention these points on graph paper okay okay Give me one second yes here you are seeing that as usual you are increasing the value of x okay regarding to that the value of y that is increased by 2 okay okay yes so yeah because they are asking that uh, do you notice a pattern yes so pattern that means yeah so here all the points that i mentioned over here on your graph paper <coughs> if you would like to join all these points then you will you can see that straight line okay don't forget yeah, to yeah. mention the equation of line on graph paper also which you had drawn there okay <laughs> yeah so do you understand it yeah so now let's see the next one here but you can see that there are two equation of line with respect to your graph one first one is your y equals to 3x plus 4 actually of seeing plus 4 you can clearly understand that this graph will cut the y axis at 0 comma 4 okay yeah, yeah that's the intercept that's the one yeah that's the intercept that's the intercept which would like to tell us that where the graph will intersect on y axis here you can see that y equals to 3x plus 4 so that means your graph will cut the y axis at plus 4 okay and here yes. y equals to 0 0.5 minus 1 so that means here graph will cut the y axis at minus 1 yeah you can see that yeah you can ask me one question that sir here you, we are not able to see that where is minus one but you can imagine a little bit that if you would like to increase this uh, second graph okay downwards yeah. so you can imagine that it would like to cut at minus one clear yes because um yeah i was gonna i was going to ask you that it says minus one but it's cutting at two so i was gonna ask you that no 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 beta. it's it's cutting x axis on two okay but here you can see that if your equation is subjected as y equals to 0 0.5 x minus one so y equals to that means it is your y intercept okay yeah yeah when, yeah when there will be x equals to my plus c then that way that will be your x intercept understand yes sir 
Yes. So basically that there are many things which you have to keep in your mind. First thing is that what is your subject? Subject that means y equals to mx plus c. That means your intercept that will be with respect to y axis. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Yes, yeah, clear. Okay. That's great. So let's uh, do the third one. Yes. Here, beta, you are seeing two doodles on your screen. One is with respect to slope and other one with respect to intercept. Okay. okay. If you, yeah, here you can see that y equals to mx plus c. You are seeing this red line with respect to x-axis. Yes, I can see that. Yes. If I would like to increase the value of m. So you can see that this line, as usually you are seeing that at this time, this line is with respect to x axis, creating 180 degree. Okay. okay. So if I would like to increase the value, you can see that it is creating an angle or not each and every time. Yes, okay. Yeah. So suppose that at two that yes. So y equals to now here you can see that it's the equation of line. Now next is your intercept. So first, first total that was your with respect to angle. Okay, that means slope. And second one that means you can see that if I would like to move it up or down, you can see that if I will move up, then your graph will shift to left hand side. Okay. Are you seeing that? Okay. Yes, yes, I can see that. And if I would like to get down, that means if I would like to decrease the value of intercept then you can see that your graph will move right hand side okay okay clear yes great so suppose that you can see if that is here so clearly you can see that your equation now it will be y equals to 2x minus 5 so minus y equals to 2x minus 5 that means minus 5 indicates that your graph will cut the y axis at minus 5 okay which you are seeing here downwards clear yes yeah, that's clear good if i would like to increase a little bit so you can see that 2x minus 3 now you can see clearly that your graph is cutting the y axis at minus 3 Understand? Yes, sir. Here yes, they are saying that you, uh, your task is just to find out what will be the effect of effect e effect each number has on the appearance of the line. Yes. So with respect to slope, with respect to slope that or M, M would like to define that how much angle that your line is creating with respect to x axis. Okay. Okay. And. With respect to intercept doodle, it also explains that where the graph will cut the y-axis. Okay, that's it. Yeah. yeah. They are saying click next to fix the line and begin a new one. Okay. Yes. You can see. Yeah. So always that you are seeing that the same line that with respect to different color that is there. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah. What it's basically like no it, it's it's like very easy it's just all you have to see is what the slope is and you have to see is that where the line is crossing the x-axis and what intercept it is it's, it's yes right. exactly you are right perfectly right give me one second yeah okay <laughs> कि हम उससे शादी करेंगे आंचल से तो पगलेट हो गए हो क्या चलो ठीक है कहते पापा उसी वो मांग बिल्कुल मत मानिएगा या आई एम हियर आई एम हियर बेटा आई एम हियर थैंक्स थैंक्स लॉर्ड सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड अप टू हियर बेटे यस ग्रेट वेरी गुड सो कम टू द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन here beta you are seeing that again they are explaining about gradient as usually you know about that gradient that fundamentally that i explain that up upon across so here of seeing any equation that what are the circumstances that when you will be able to get your gradient so what fundamentally you can understand that what will be the coefficient of x that will be your gradient simple 
okay yes what will be the mm-hmm. coefficient of x that will be your gradient okay but basically suppose that your equation of line is given and with respect to graph suppose that graph is given so first of all that you have to consider that gradient that you have to measure with respect to graph okay okay yes so you can see here up oh the same thing they are <laughs> explaining you here beta up upon across okay so you okay. can see that up that is one unit you can see that across there is also one unit okay i hope you remember that i explained that to you if there is any line given okay on graph paper so you just have to choose two points over there and then you have to apply the same rule up upon across and you will be consider you will be able to consider that what will be the slope okay so here you can see that it will be up upon across that is one unit upon one unit that is equals to one that's why you can see that and you can see also one will be your slope and you can see that this graph is intersecting at y equals to 1 okay so basically okay. that when you will plug in all these value that means intercept c equals to 1 and m equals to 1 if you will plug in value of m and c in your general equation that y equals to mx plus c then you will get the equation y equals to x plus 1 clear oh yes you will yes do you understand that Yeah 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 yes you will, yes you you're going to get the equation of y equals yes you will yeah so suppose that suppose if you are changing your graph and now your graph is here so again that you can see that it is cutting y axis at x uh, y uh, uh, y equals to 1 so that means intercept will be plus 1 how you would like to consider that intercept will be plus 1 or minus 1 you can see that it is it is intersecting at above above zero okay that's why it is plus okay. one if that will intersect below zero then that will be minus okay yes sir and also bete same impo- same thing is that what i explained that slope up upon across you can see that if you are taking two points on this graph so up that is two unit and across there is one unit so two by one that will be your two So in that condition, if you we'll plug in the value of m and c, then you will get your equation of line y equals to 2x plus 1. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, and then the gradient would. Yes. Yes. Do you understand that? Hello. yeah so next is if like this one so here you can see that each and every time that we are choosing different points regarding to that one the slope that is changing so here you can see that if you will do that up upon across hello are you able to hear me yes hello hello yeah are you able to hear me hello Yeah 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 I can hear you yes Oh okay okay I thought that there is a little bit again problem <laughs> okay so here bete you can see that you are seeing a graph okay on graph paper this line and again that if you would like to get your slope so clearly you can see that you have to consider two points so they are considering one point that is here at 1 and other point that here is at 4 so in that way that your slope will be up that is 3 unit above and across that is 1 unit here so up upon across that means you can see that your slope will be plus 3 clear okay and again that you can see that intercept that means without that means close your eyes and simply where your graph is cutting the y axis that will be your slope, uh, intercept clear yeah so now i am getting next okay so again you can see that here again that i change the graph over here you can see that now with respect to this line you have to get your equation of line so here you can see that first of all that you have to see that where will be your intercept yes, so okay. yeah so here you are see, hello yes there hello i'm listening okay so you are seeing a graph 
here on your screen so in this graph beta if they will ask you that what will be the equation of this graph so you have to do one thing so just to find the equation of graph you have to do one thing you just have to find the values of m and c so if you would like to see clearly so you can see that just mention two points over there so between two points you can see that your up is your one and across there is two so the slope will be one by two okay do you understand that Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and next you are, you can see that. Yeah. It, yeah, it is it is cutting on x y equals to one, so that means c is your one. So if you would like to plug in the value of m and c into your general equation, then you can see that your equation will be y equals to half x plus one. I hope you understand that everything. Yeah, 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 sir, I understand. Great. Now we can move to the next section, beta. Here you can see that they are explaining the effect of intercept, okay? So you are seeing a okay. toodle on your screen. Toodle, toodle that means I am seeing this one, beta, this one, okay? okay it's a okay. toodle, yeah. So basically you can see that firstly your toodle is at the center. That means, what does it mean? It means that your graph is passing through origin, okay? That okay. was having no intercept okay yes, but yes. if you will increase the if you will increase your value like upward then graph will move left hand side okay okay sir yeah you can see that it is moving upward and graph you can see that it is moving left hand side okay yes sir now again that Again, that you can see that if I would like to get down this one, so you can see that value is decreasing, intercept value is decreasing, and graph is getting right hand side clear. Yes, yes, sir. Great. Wow. So, value of C that would like to dictate that where the line cuts the y axis, simple. Okay, you can see that firstly, it is you can see that at this point that your graph is cutting y equals to minus 5. As I would like to get up, okay, move it upward. Okay. So you can see that now at this condition, it is cutting at y equals to minus one. Again, if you would like to move upward, then you can see that it is cutting at y equals to one. And then onwards that if you would like to move upward, then you can see that at the same point that if you are increasing or decreasing the value of C, that means if you are increasing, then your graph will move left hand side. If you are decreasing, then graph will move right hand side. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, great. Very good. Now come to the next section. Here again that you are seeing that. <coughs> here again you are seeing that your graph that is a red one here. First of all that they are asking that you just have to find the value of m and c okay if you are finding c so beta here that is 0 here is 5 okay so okay do you remember uh, do you consider that it will be that it will be 4 where the graph is cutting y axis uh yes yes yes, yes, yes. yes it will because it's crossing yeah yeah crossing because 0 to 5 that is your one column beta okay it, it belongs yeah, yeah. to one block so that means 0 to 5, so it will be considered as 4, okay? Yes, sir. And also, so that means simply you have to understand that your value of C, that is your 4, plus 4, plus 4, okay? Yes, sir. <clears throat> because it is above then 0, that means it will be plus 4. Now, basic thing is that you just have to uh, determine your slope. So for slope that you can see that any two point you can take, Suppose that one point, uh, are you able to see my moving cursor? Yes, sir, I can see your moving cursor. Yeah, one point that will be here and the other point you can consider that will be here. So, better if you would like to make triangle with respect to these two points, so you can see that it is your one, that means across will be one. And if you would like to move upward, so I think that uh, it will be three, okay? 
Yes, yeah. okay. It will be three. Uh, you can ask me that, sir, how you are considering it is three? Because that from 10 to 15, that is on whole block, okay? So you can see that it is approximately 60%, okay? So that's why yeah, I am yeah. considering that it will be three over there, three. okay? <laughs> yes. Okay. By the precision of vision, you will be able to understand that where the where the graph is, where regarding to the means assumed point, what you are assuming that where the graph would like to be upward and across, okay? So upward, okay. you can see that it is up to three and across there is one. So slope will be up upon across. So that means three by one, that will be three. So now you can plug in the value of slope that is three and intercept that is four on your equation. So in that condition, your equation of line that will be y equals to three x plus four. Without clicking next that I explain this solution. <coughs> Do you understand that? Yeah. yeah. Great, great, wow. Yes, so here we can see that, just see that, where, how the computer is solving this one. Oh yes, they are using magnifier, <laughs> okay. But basically that you can see that whatever that we determine with the precision of vision, or like with respect to assumption, actually our assumption also would like to be 90% true, okay. So that's why you can see that it is up to 4, that's great. And now that with respect to slope that you have to do that, okay. So here you can see that it is with respect to across that is 3 and up there is 9. So 9 upon 3 that is specifically that you are taking 3, okay. So, so how slope, is it 9? Beta. Uh, Miss any two point yeah, beta you can take there, okay. Miss, don't be confused, bache. Here, the basic concept is that you have to take two points. Are you seeing my cursor over here, this point? Yeah. Oh, oh, you go up nine because of the magnifying thing. Is that, is that yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. You can see that uh, they are taking that from this point. Okay, I think this point will be like seven. Okay. Okay, and you can see that here at this point that would like to be considered as 16 beta. Okay, so 16 minus 7, you will get 9. Okay, okay, do you think that I have to explain on a screen? No, 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 I understand because I was confused about the 9, but then now I understand because it's the magnifying thing. No, no, like beta 9, 9, beta 9, if you want to, if you are a little bit confused, you can see that label of this one that is, you can yeah. see that it will be 7. Okay, here, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see that now the label of this point, you can see that it will be your here. So you can see that it is 16, okay? And here is your 7. So 16 minus 7, you will get 9, okay? And across beta, so across that means you can see that here is your 1 and here is your 4. So 4 minus 1, that is your 3, okay? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So that means you'll get, or simply that I explained that to you with respect to very easy point. That means I was taking point here and here. Here was your one and here was your three. So three upon one, that will also be your three. Okay. That okay. means with respect to any point, I means with respect to any graph of line, either you will choose any point on that graph. Okay. Your slope will not change. Okay. That will be same. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you can say that by equals to 3x plus 4. Understand? Yes, I understand. Great. Now the next one. Again, you are seeing that there is there are two toodles which you are seeing on your screen, and also now I'm going to explain you the effect of negative gradient. Okay. Okay. Negative gradient that you can understand that when it will be down upon a cross. Okay. So okay. you can see that there are two doodles with respect to slope and intercept. So slope, if that will be, so you can see that its angle is getting changed or not. Yes, it is. Yes. So suppose that we can do that like two. Wait, hold on. Yes. I shift that with respect to two. And now that negative gradient, that means if you would like to go up or down, okay? If you would like to go up, then you can see that gradient, uh, sorry, uh, intercept, that is your positive, okay? So if yeah, you would yeah. like to get down, so you can see that now your gradient is negative. Oh, sorry, uh, intercept is negative. Clear? Yes. 
yeah means i don't think that this type of question that will come here okay or in your paper so but basically you have to understand that when there will be negative gradient that means your in, uh, graph is intersecting at negative y axis okay okay but yes that's it okay so yeah, yeah. we can do next here yep so you can see that if you would like to do like this so here you can see that y equals to minus 2x plus 4 so you can see that minus 2 minus 2 is coming how okay so minus 2 you can see that the line goes up by minus 2 and for every unit across for one unit okay or you can see okay, that okay. suppose that you are seeing your graph at this stage okay I'm not taking okay. that equation. Okay, I'm not taking that equation. Simply you can see that now at this condition, your graph okay. you can see that up upon across that you are seeing. Okay, but here you can see that down upon across. Bete, down upon across, down you can see that it is your minus 3 or not, beta? Yes, sir. And beta across there is plus 1.5 you can see. Okay? Yes. Yeah. So minus 3 upon minus 3 upon 1.5 if you will solve that then you will get minus 2 there or not yes sir. Well, yeah minus 2 great so basically it doesn't mean that whatever equation that will be negative gradient that means you just have to do down upon across okay okay down upon across that means from origin to you have to get down that point where the graph is intersecting y-axis okay and then across that means so where it moves from 0 to x axis okay positively clear yes sir yes. Clear. great okay so let's do that what is going in next year okay great so here uh, a little bit i'm asking to you here can you tell me that what will be the value of m and c do you have pen and paper a little bit yeah, 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 I have a friend. Okay, so now it's your turn. Okay, so okay. just try to do that. Otherwise, I will explain that to you, beta. Okay. So, wait, what, uh, I have to find the values of M and C. Okay. Yeah, so, slope and intercept. Okay, so... One important thing that how will you consider that your intercept will be negative or positive or means your gradient will be negative or positive you know why because that your previous graph your graphs were with respect to like down to up okay down yeah. to up here you can see that your graph is like up to down okay uh, yeah up to down so okay no problem i'm explaining that to you but because that maybe that you will be a little bit confused over here but you can see that you can your graph is what is the difference between previous graph and here you can see that this one is from up to down okay slant okay slant with respect to y to x okay so that's why you can see that you can we can consider here a 16 or not yes yeah. so it will be 16 so from 16 that you are getting zero okay so that means you are getting downwards okay so if you are getting okay. downwards so your this one will be minus 16 and you can see that beta across it is 4 or not yes it is so minus 16 upon 4 then you will get that minus 4 okay okay and understand that yeah and you can see that your intercept that means you can see that it is it is intersecting at 16 okay so basically yeah, that yeah. you have to plug in both the values of m and c and you will get your answer fantastic you can see that it is intersecting at 16 so that's why your intercept is 16 and then slope that means down upon across that means you can see wow down upon across simply you can see that downwards that means means they are making this triangle here but I was taking like this triangle that means from 16 to 0 that means it will be 0 minus 16 okay that is minus 16 and across that is 4 so that means minus 16 upon 4 you, then you will get minus 4 so then in that condition equation of line that will be y equals to minus 4x plus 16 understand okay great 
Yep, you can see that. Uh, <laughs> wait, no, um, hold on. Wait, uh, sorry, just a second, just a second. Um, no, no, but uh, please take your time and try to understand that. If you'll feel a problem, then I'll explain again that, again that to you. Okay. okay, yes, yeah. now I understand. Okay. Great. If you understand that, then few questions that are coming on your screen. Just give me answer in an appropriate manner. Wait, hold on. Yes. Beta, I explained that to you. Here you are seeing four graphs, okay? Okay. So, you just have to tell that what will be the equation of these graphs. So, I think that firstly, I have to explain you. You can see that your first graph is passing through origin. Okay? Okay. That means there is no intercept. Okay? So you have to, yeah, you have to choose that equation of line in which one there is no intercept. So you can see that here, half x, there is no intercept, clear? Oh, oh yes, because there is no like plus constant. or minus. Actually. Yeah, there is no constant value. Uh, so that means it is your first one. Next, you can see that it is your graph down to up, okay? Down to up. So you can see that it is cutting at uh, y equals to plus 1, okay? Yeah. Y equals y to plus 1, okay? Yeah. And you can see that up upon a cross, up is your 1 unit and across is 0 0.5, so you will get 2 there, okay? Wait, how is it 0 0.5? Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's, yes, it's, yes. It's, it's passing half over there, okay? So that's oh, yeah. why that your equation will be uh, zero, uh, 1 upon 0 0.5, that means you will get 2. So y equals to 2x and it is passing through y equals to 1 over here. So next will be again this one, okay? Okay. Now, next you can see that, beta, your graph, your third one, you can see that your graph is uh, cutting y axis at minus 2 or not. Minus uh, 2. Minus 2. Yeah. Two minus, yeah. So, yes, of seeing yes. this one clearly, you can understand that this one will be here and the last one that will be here. Clear? Yes, clear, clear. And when you will mark it, perfect. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. I understand. Great. So, I am refreshing that button so that you will try a little bit. And if you'll again, there'll be a problem, then again, I'll explain. Okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, is this a okay, yes. So here the first one, first graph, regarding to first graph, there are four equations are given. You just have to tell me that which equation will be perfect. Describe the first graph. Okay, uh, the first graph, it would be like, um, first, it, there is no, um, y-intercept, but there is a slope, it's a half, because it is crossing, hold on. Um... Uh, sir, shouldn't the slope be negative because the line is going to the left direction? Beta, you are trying the first graph? Uh, yes, yes, I'm, yes, I'm trying the first graph. So, Beta, you just have to understand in this way. You can see clearly that, uh, miss by seeing intercept that you can understand a little bit, you can uh, get a hint that what will be the equation of line. You can see that your graph is passing through y equals to minus 2 here or not? Minus, yeah, that is minus 2 over there, yes. So simply that you have to choose that equation in which there is minus 2. So you can see this one, 3x minus 2, that will be your first, okay? Oh, we're supposed to match the... 
match the yeah you have to the... match yeah you have to match that oh. equations are given graphs are given you just have to match to that which equation will clearly describe which graph okay oh okay all right okay all right sorry that okay no that problem now the second one okay so the second one would be the the line is cutting through the origin to zero so there is nothing so there is no intercept yes that's great so, so it would be half x fantastic so, your answer is perfectly right because if your graph is passing through origin that means there is no intercept so that means no value or no constant value will be there okay like plus one minus one plus two or any else okay yeah now the third one you can see all right so the third one it would be um oh okay yes it would the act the line is passing through the y-axis which is one and okay but here you can see that both the graphs are passing through y equals to one <laughs> yeah okay. so yes so but the slope the slope is one two one uh can i tell you a trick over here uh yes beta just see that if you would like to see that your third graph it is up to down okay up to okay. down okay and here okay. you can see that it is down to up okay down to up okay. so in which one there will be up to down there will be negative gradient always okay oh yes oh my god yes i yes and the, okay. this one that is there okay and if you will mark it again you will get perfect answer yes. clear Oh yes, yeah. I, I I totally forgot about the negative direction and the positive direction. No, no problem, beta. No problem. Again, I am repeating my words. Here you are seeing that first of all that any graph is given to you. You just have to consider that where it is passing through. Yeah, you can I see that? that it is yeah where where it is passing through. That means you have to see that y axis, okay? Because that will describe you intercept, okay? So yes, first of all that you can consider your graph equation by that but if you are not able to do that then you can see that where your slope will be okay or what will be the slope value okay so here okay. first one that you are seeing that it is passing it is up to down okay wait but you can see that it is up to down so and it is passing at minus 2 so basically of seeing its intercept you can determine that it is your equation of line y equals to minus 3x minus 2 yes sir. also i explained that to you up to down slope will be negative so it is also a confirmation that your answer is right with respect to fast graph clear yeah, yeah. so it's, it's basically kind of like proof that it's right if it's negative negative slope and it's yes. a negative line. yes yes yeah. if your graph will be up to down okay that yes, means your yeah. slope will be negative okay yeah. And if there will be down to up, like you can see that second one, then your slope will be positive. You can see that half x, okay? Yes, sir. And as usual, it is passing through origin. So that's why that you, there is no intercept, okay? Yes, now sir. the third one, you can see that your graph is up to down. Up to down, that means confirmly that negative slope will be there, okay? And where it is passing through x axis, Oh, sorry, y-axis. So here you can see that y equals to 1 is here, y equals to 1 is here. Then how will you consider that whose lines graph is third one? So now you can see that as they are passing at y, y equals to 1 in both graph. So now the basic thing is that, now the basic thing is that you have to see that graph is up to down or down to up. Then you can see that it is your up to down. That means your slope will be negative. That's why I mentioned here negative slope equation. And that is your answer. Okay. okay. Yes. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, I understand. Yes. Yes. No problem, beta. So here that I explain each and everything related to this section, beta. I will upload this one within few hours that you will be seeing. You will be able to see that on air. Okay. On my channel. Okay. 
and you just okay. have to revise this one okay and uh, tomorrow that we would like to do that a new topic after this one okay so thanks a lot and uh, again thanks for your cooperation beta have a great time bye bye thank you thank you sir and so much and please Papa. don't forget to revise uh -huh. it again okay Oh, yeah, yeah. I will watch yeah I will watch the video once it uploads yes yes hundred percent that you will get notification okay yeah yeah thanks a lot bye bye thank you all right thank you sir thank you bye